Hi everyone, Donut here. Many of you have emailed me since my video yesterday telling me that I have been bamboozled. It is in fact though, you who have been bamboozled. Several of you emailed me, sent me messages, tweeted at me, trying to tell me that the most elaborate and successful heist in human history was pulled off by popular vlogger David Dobrik. I'm not playing the audio right here because they have a copyright song and I don't have that 11 million subscriber clout like he does. Investigator Dognut is on the case. Looky right here, no fanny pack, different suitcases, different race, no hat. It seems that David Dobrik had simply just run out of original material. Good luck pulling that heist off. <laughs> oh shit, he did it. Let me apologize for something I accidentally did last night, and that is call several thousand of yours local police departments when I said the word. My bad, I probably did set a world record though. Like the most false 911 calls on a single person. I'm going to jail. <laughs> What have we here today? Probably one of the best police interaction videos that I have ever seen. I don't know how it took us so long to find this video. While streaming last night, we were looking at public freakout compilations and we came across a video straight out of the city of Mount Vernon, Missouri. This video is an interaction between a very upset Taco Bell customer and Officer B. Richardson. Officer Richardson is a very patient officer. After watching this video, I do have to say that I am a fan of Officer Richardson, despite his use of disgusting basket weave duty belt accessories. This video is called Cops Stop Me Walking from Taco Bell, My Period Vernon, Missouri. And it was uploaded August of last year again. Why did no one ever tell me about this? What makes this video even better is that the person who's filming it actually uploaded it to YouTube themselves. I love it. So why was Officer Richardson called to the scene of a Taco Bell? Yeah, look at this. What's going on? I don't know. Why don't you tell me, officer? Well, you got people calling and talking about saying you're cussing and hollering and yelling at people, and then you refuse to leave. I walk a half a mile from the TA okay. to here. Okay. All right. Okay. I wait 20 minutes. Okay. For a 12 pack of tacos. Okay. They were making his tacos too slow. <laughs> I see five cars get their order before me. Okay. Five cars, people. Five. The drive through line was just a moving and the tacos weren't coming, and God damn it, that's just not right. All right, now, they're sitting there calling the cops on me. Well, there's a there's people in there that have kids and you're yelling the F word. Very understandable, Officer Richardson. You don't want a dude standing in the middle of Taco Bell dropping F-bombs on a bunch of kids. They don't, they don't really want you yelling the F word around their kids. Then they should have better service. Anyways, it's not even his fault. It's their fault for having shitty service. It's not my fault for screaming the F word at a bunch of kids and employees at Taco Bell. It's Taco Bell's fault for having a very, very poor taco creation rate. Okay, but what are the kids? I was not at, I was not saying the F word to the people. Okay, I was the, saying the F word to the people the behind the counter. Overhearing. That's the issue is there's kids sitting there trying to eat their dinner and you're cussing and the kids are overhearing it. They don't need to hear that. I'm just wanting my tacos to walk all the way back to my damn truck a half a mile away. Wait, you had a truck this whole time and you walked a half a mile from it? We all know at this point in this video, the drive through is way faster than standing in line. Five cars, damn it. So what are you doing? Why didn't you just drive through the drive through I know you're not walking just a half a mile for the exercise. You, you ordered 12 tacos for yourself. You have an idea on you to look at? I do. Okay. What have I done wrong? What? Really? We just went over that more than a few times. My favorite part is about to happen, and this guy's argument is bulletproof. You caused a disturbance at Taco Bell. No, I have not. You did cause a disturbance. You That's do not need call. my... I have not caused a crime. If I have you, caused a crime... You, you, did, you did commit a crime. No, That's I did not. Disturbance. When you cuss like that in public, you're disturbing people's peace, which is a peace disturbance crime. When a baby cries during, hey, hey, when a baby when, when a baby cries, that's a crime. That's, that's disturbing the peace, also, officer. Because they didn't use vulgarities. When a baby cries, isn't that a crime? When a dog takes a shit, isn't that littering a crime? Arrest that tree. A branch fell on my car and scratched it. Vandalism crime. You're using vulgarities in a public place, which is peace disturbance. How do you know what the baby's saying? How do you know what the baby is saying? I can't handle this guy. He's so matter of fact with how good he thinks his argument is right here. And you can hear it in his voice. How do you know what the baby's saying? In his brain, he knows at this point that he's got that officer backed into a corner just where he wants him. The baby doesn't talk when it cries. Exactly. You don't know what it's saying. His mental gymnastics and verbal judo is just 
perfect. So just to recap real quick, a grown man screaming curse words in a Taco Bell over non-speedy tacos is the equivalent to a baby crying because you don't know what the baby is saying, and I don't see cops going around and arresting babies, therefore, you can't arrest me, checkmate son. This guy is one of those people that whips into their driveways on a traffic stop when they're close to home and jump out of the car and think that the police can't arrest them because they made it to home base. This is one of those people that probably speeds, records it on video, gets a ticket, cries about it like a little boo-boo baby biatch, and then makes several more videos obsessing over a more popular and funnier YouTuber. You know who you are. It's okay to come out, man. It's 2019. I know you got a thing for me. I'm sorry I don't swing that way, but I do respect your life choices. Okay, here's the deal. You can give me your ID or we go about this a completely different way. All right, what's the different one? You get a ticket for peace disturbance. How much is that? And when is the court date? And, and also. Also? Also. Come on, you can do it. Is there a. Um, Almost there. Public defender available for that date. I love how he's trying to bash the cop for stuff that's not even the cop's responsibility. You, at this point, cannot make anyone else look bad. You lost that privilege forever when you screamed at people in a Taco Bell for slow tacos. I don't know, that's, that's- Well, hey, hey, you need to come up with all this. You got, this is 2018, okay. and you can't come up with that information? That's not my job. My job is to enforce the law, not to provide you with the public defense. Oh, you're trying to play the 2018 card on the officer. What about you, huh? It's 2018. Why don't you download the Taco Bell app and order that shit instead of walking a half mile from your truck instead of driving through the drive-thru? What's your problem, bro? It's 2018. Enforce the law. Yep. Okay, when, where did I break the law? Peace disturbance. I've already explained it. So you can either give me your ID or this can go a different way. That's it. Fine. Okay. Now, can I see your? It ends there. I have no idea what happens after that. I can't find anything online. I can't find any reports. I think I'm going to try to call the Mount Vernon Police Department tomorrow and see what happened. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Well, everyone, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to be at twitch.tv slash donut operator if you would like to come hang out. If you want to help support the channel, you can do so by going to donutoperator.com. Get some super sweet merch over there. Uh, Patreon and just just watch this just please watch my videos and hit oh yeah hit the the little bell hit the little icon that gives you the notifications because youtube's been taking that from people again have a fantastic day